This audiovisual presentation will examine the role of the hypothalamus relative to motivated behaviour. Firstly, what is the hypothalamus? The hypothalamus is a small part of the deencephalon, situated anteriorly adjacent to the neurotube, and just under the thalamus, as you can see here, highlighted in red. While statistically this structure is only 4 grams of the mean adult brain weight, the hypothalamus plays an imperative role relative to motivation. But you may be asking how something so small can govern motivated behaviour. Well, an answer lies predominantly in homeostatic mechanisms such as sleep, hunger, aggression and mating. And how does the hypothalamus control these mechanisms? Well, it initiates and conducts motivated behaviour to maintain an equilibrium, and this may be as simple as eating an apple when hungry. To explain these homeostatic motivated behaviours, we will explore the most widely cited, that of hunger. Empirical research has extensively examined the hypothalamus relative to the pathophysiology of motivated eating behaviours. Stella, in 1954, postulated the dual control theory to examine the two independent hypothalamic regions working together to regulate eating. This theory suggests that the ventromedial hypothalamus works as the integration centre for satiety, whilst the lateral hypothalamus is suggested to be the predominant brain region relative to hunger. If one region in this pathway is dysregulated, this has severe implications evident in the example of innumerable pathophysiological eating behaviours, such as hypophagia. Whilst predominance of literature has supported this homeostatic mechanisms of the hypothalamus, the hypothalamus is also crucial in the motivation to obtain rewards, and perhaps the most direct relationship between hypothalamic functioning and reward is discernible in drug-seeking behaviours, and this is best explained in an example. Suggest you are John, and this is your friend Robert. You, you have had a few drinks and you have decided to go home, but Robert offers you another beer. It is likely your lateral hypothalamus is now stimulated by extrinsic consumatory rewards and cues. Anorexin peptides are secreted to encode the motivational value of having another beer. And these physiological mechanisms together guide motivated behaviour. Conclusively, while the functioning of the hypothalamus is not explicitly observable, it is extremely crucial in conducting homeostatic motivated behaviours and encoding the motivational meaning of reward, and many other variables explained in the corresponding book chapter. Moreover, gaining insight into this underlying hypothalamic motivation, motivational mechanisms can promote pharmacological and behavioural interventions, which in turn can increase individual self-development and foster a sense and acknowledgement of not only our own but other people's motivated behaviours. Created using Powtoon.